Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I have another review for you and it is a review sent by Expo. I had mentioned about Expo before. It is a site that you can go on, anybody can join, you can sign up, you can do surveys and you get products sent to you. The only thing they ask in return is for you to do a review, mostly a video review like what I'm doing right now. Um, of some sort. I don't believe you have to have any channel or anything like that. I think it's just as long as you do some kind of sort of video review um, and give your input on the items that they send you. And the more that you do, the more chances you have of getting things sent to you. So um, this product here that got sent to me today is the CoverGirl Ultra, Ultra Smooth Hair Smoothing Foundation Plus Applicator. And here is the product right here. Um, and I tried a previous CoverGirl foundation, uh, I believe Influencer, which is another um, program. I'll put the link to Expo down below um, if, in, in case you're interested in maybe checking in, checking um, into I'll it, tell you like what it's to do and my thoughts on it. Mind you, it's just my thoughts. Everything works different for everybody, so keep that in mind always. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read you off on just a couple of things that it has here. The uh, ultra smooth, uh, sexy looking skin, even up close, very close, it says. <laughs> I'm just reading what it has on here. So uh, it includes Ole Smoothing Serum, and applicator works with foundation to glide foundation over flaws and it promotes a perfectly smooth look. It's an innovative foundation with a lacier and smoothing applicator. Instantly smooths away uh, redness, blemishes, and unevenness. So um, I'm looking on here and I'm on drugstore.com. It retails about $13.59 on drugstore.com. It might vary depending on what different stores that, um, you know, like in Walmart and different places. Um, but that is what it does retail for is $13.59. Um, it is, uh, let's see, it looks like it's not even a full ounce because it's looked like 0 .0 0 0.85 fluid ounce. I'm just trying to see on here if it, yeah, 25 mil, 25 mil. So that's not even a full ounce. Didn't realize that. It wasn't even, but um, my shade is in classic ivory. That is my shade. 810 classic ivory. Okay, um, so I have this foundation on. Um, I didn't do, like sometimes I'll do a review and show you um, afterwards my application, like when it, how I'm applying it and what it looks like from, you know, if you do want to um, see that kind of review or video uh, to see how it applies, I can do a get ready with me or just a video in general just showing how this applied on me. Otherwise, um, I'm trying to like um, just switch it up a little bit here and there for all my videos and everything. So it is what I have on today. Um, my hair is a little bit of a crazy, a little bit of a mess today. I didn't get to do too much, but it is on today. So... Um, it doesn't feel tacky. I've been using it for the past, oh, I would say actually two weeks I've been using it. Which, let me push me up. I've been using it actually for the past two weeks. Um, so to kind of get more feel of it because um, I didn't want to just whatever with the whole thing. Um, it comes with this applicator, which most people have been saying, yes, it does. It does look like a silicone nipple, let's be honest. I mean, it really, it really does. Um, and what it is, is you, you hold about here. And the way it describes to apply it is uh, you work in a downward motion. Like, if you're somebody that has peach fuzz, which I semi-do, but not nothing drastic. I just usually shave it off, like use my little eyebrow razor thing or any of them kind of things. And that's pretty much what I do for some of my peach fuzz or, um, you know, do the hair removal thing or something like that. But, um, this is like, you know, if, if you do and you can't get it or maybe whatever, I don't know. 
I, I don't know, but it, it claims that it, you know, goes, you have to go in a downward motion and um, use this to apply, which like I said, it's like a silicone applicator. Um, I'm pretty much not really feeling this applicator. I did give this a try and I really just didn't like the silicone, like I put the product on here because it did say to put the product on and I applied it on and I just didn't really feel like I got much of a benefit from it. I didn't see no point in this. I don't know. It, it, I just don't see no point in it. it didn't work for me. So um, this here I'll probably end up throwing out because just I don't see no point in it. I'm not sure why why it's such an innovative thing. Like really, you know, I did the downward motion. It just didn't do anything for me. For me, it didn't do anything. So the next thing I tried was, oh, I tried my uh, chart brush that I love so much, this airbrush one. I tried this brush on with it. Um, the problems that I was having that I had noticed um, was it, it like it will cling on to dry dry patches. So if you do have dry skin, very dry skin, very dry skin or dry skin at all, combination dry skin or whatever, um, it will cling on to that. And I was having problems where you'd see these little flakes of the dry skin. And with this weather, it has been pretty havoc with my skin. Um, so, however, keep in mind when you're doing a foundation, and it is doing that, maybe. Do a little more extra moisturization because um, you know make sure you use you use a really good moisture because uh, pretty much that's probably what it's going to be is you need that extra moisture and then the foundation will lay on much better it's not going to cling on to those dry patches um, it, it's a work and go process when you're trying to find stuff that works all together you know um, so just keep that in mind. Um, try different moisturizers and, and, and that too. And find one that really, really hydrates and moisturizes your skin. I was still having the same thing. I love this brush. This is like one of my favorite uh, brushes. But with it, it wasn't a, a great combination for it. It wasn't a, a great combo. Um, I still was finding the dry patch patchiness kind of a thing. Um, I just didn't like how it looked and applied. So the next one I went to was my stippling brush that I have here from uh, Real Techniques. I figured I'd go ahead and try the stippling brush and I tried that. It was uh, somewhat better than the other two, um, but there was still, I just, just still wasn't feeling it with this brush. So I then went to my Soho, uh, my Soho little spongy, sort of like the beauty blender, but it's a generic way, but it's from Soho. I used this. This actually did the best application out of all those that I had used. The applicator that they send you, my wonderful tart brush that I love very dearly, and the, the stippling brush um, from Real Techniques. The sponge was what works the best for me. Everybody's going to be different, so it might not be the one that works, for, but I just found that this did a better application of putting the foundation on. And the other thing I found, which I know some people don't like, which as long as you wash your hands and sanitize your hands, your fingers are your best friend. Don't know. I mean, like, I, I know some people get whatever about that, but really, your tools right here that God gave you are, are one of your better tools, you know. So between this and, and my fingers were the two best ways of applying it, which today I did with my, my fingers. And like I said, make sure you just wash your hands before you apply the foundation on or any of that kind of stuff you know sanitize wash them and everything so that's how i was with the whole application and what worked best for me as in coverage it is a really good foundation for coverage it is a more um thicker foundation it is not like the other foundation it is not like this foundation that's from uh the cover girl olay facelift effect that i was doing a review on this one has like a more of a mousse consistency, so it's a little more different than this one. Um, it's more of a of a liquid form, and uh, 
like a serum-y, kind of a foundation-y, however you want to say. So it's more of that kind of a texture. And it goes on, I'll, I'll totally, totally be honest, it surprised me because like at first I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't really feeling it at all. Like there's the application on my hand even after I put that on there. I wasn't feeling it at first. I was like, mm, I don't know, you know, because I always have a bad whatever with CoverGirl. There's only one CoverGirl that it had not done too bad for me. And this reminds me of the texture of that one. This is definitely, it does give you a nice radiant look. Um, I found with this one here, it seems more hydrating, but it might be because of the serum benefit that's in here, the LA serum in here, that, that's even doing a better, it, it's thick. When you put it on, it's thick. You have to be quick too. You don't want to be too, you know, slow or anything like that. You have to be quick. If I had to compare this foundation to another foundation that I do have, and it is drugstore for me, it would be the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation, and I've done a review on it. It would almost remind me of it, like that kind of a texture. Whoops. Um, just this has a set so to it. To comparing now, the Wet n Wild one has one ounce. It does have the full one ounce, and it is like around a, the three dollar range where this one is $13, um, but, but obviously you're paying for because this the brand name and the skincare probably that's in it from Olay, the serum. Um, but I think both are really good uh, foundations. I would say though, um, I'm not sure if there's Fair in the Wet n Wild, I'd have to look because I'd probably have to go with Fair in this. But this foundation here, honestly, it impressed me. I mean, it really did. I'm shocked. I real I, I like it. I didn't try the gorgeous one. There's like the uh, that one that's something gorgeous or gorgeous cover girl or something. I forget. It's like a Katy Perry collection kind of a thing. I have heard some say that they liked this one a little bit better as in the application. Um, but mind you, I have not tried the other one or anything like that. Overall, my thoughts on this foundation, the wearability also, before I forget, the wearability was about six hours worth. Um, I didn't notice it coming off. I guess what I would I did notice is like obviously the shiny uh, spots or anything like that. The wearability seemed to stay for a good maybe eight hours if I had to guess, like nine hours as in like it, it wasn't coming off kind of a thing. Um, but for the shininess, like maybe about within five, six hours, I noticed I need to do a little freshen up, but, you know, powder up a little bit or whatever. But um, I, I actually, I would probably, if it was one out of five, I would give it a four. Only reason I would give it a four is because the applicator, I just don't see no, um, no use for it for me. Like I said, I'll probably just throw it out because it didn't. I mean, it might be for some other people. Um, mind you, I have um, scarring and stuff, so maybe if you're somebody who has really smooth skin, I just didn't find no point in it. So I would definitely recommend this to those um, that are curious about it and want to give it a try. The applicator might work good for you. Just remember to play around a little bit and kind of find what works best for you. And if you are combination to dry or anything like that, mind you, it will cling on to some of them patchy areas. But if you can uh, moisturize your skin really good and get it very hydrated, it will work fine. It did fine for me. And let, trust me, I have very, my skin has been very dry and very horrible with this weather. So, um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on it. So I don't know if that was helpful for you guys. I didn't do the application to show you on here. If you would like to see that, I could do a video where I show me applying this foundation on. Um, if you're interested, let me know. So thank you, Beauty, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. 
and I'll put the expo link down below so you can go and check them out and kind of get, you know, maybe yourself into getting products sent to you and do a review. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you nor are not, nor, if you nor, if you are not subscribed to me already, I would so love to have you. So go ahead and click the subscribe button and join me each week for a couple videos. I don't have a basic schedule, but just videos pop up here and there. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, I'll take care, and I'll see you later. Love y'all. Bye-bye.